Hi, my name is JT Rooney, and our focus has been primarily based in LED volume production. Extended reality is a mix of combining mixed reality and augmented reality with virtual production. It's basically the idea of working with content in real time to have a final image in camera that is based off of using traditionally post VFX workflows. We have two stage facilities. One is where I am now, is a bit larger. It's a 71 foot wide LED volume. It's about 20 feet tall and 35 feet deep. And what's interesting about this one is that it features an LED floor. Studio B is a bit more built for uh, single camera and short form production. So it features a 41 foot wide uh, LED screen, but it also has an LED ceiling. And the ceiling is used for reflections and lighting, specifically for car process, environmental work, more cinematic pieces. Being able to say, hey, I want to change the time of day on a background and actually see it in camera is one of the main reasons to do this. You'll also see that there's a wild wall on wheels that moves around and that's to kind of help get extra little lighting and reflection moments when we need to. But the other thing you'll notice is that especially in Studio A, there's a pre-built lighting grid. This grid uses a lot of our uh, KinoFlow Mimic panels. As of now, they're on stands behind me, but oftentimes they're up in the grid serving as a bit of an LED ceiling or um, influenced lighting based off of imagery as well. You know, doing LED production over the last couple years, every sort of piece of gear that's come into our space, we've really, really been conscious about why it's here. We take that same level of detail with our cameras and our lenses and tracking and stuff like that. So one of the reasons why we were so interested in the Mimic was because of Kingdom Flow's dedication to quality. We wanted to make sure that it's held up to the right standards, that it maintained color correctly. And in the same way, you know, Kino Flow is taking the right approach in getting into image-based lighting. And so having that extra set of LEDs in there to make skin tones correct and make color be accurate, that really matters. And so for us, the level of quality that we hold the space up to is the same level that Kino is working towards. So we really appreciate the collaboration on that level. Over the last four years of virtual production's kind of explosion, it's been really hard for incoming crews and existing members of the production community, and it can be really intimidating. When you walk into a space, not only is it a new workflow, but it's new equipment, it's new people, it's new faces. Having something that has a Kino Flow logo on it is a huge win for us with the crews and the talent that come into the space. Someone who walks in might not know row LED tiles or even red cameras, but they know Kino. We did a production here for Will I Am and Jay Balvin, and it was an F1 themed music video that came out. Really, really great high level video, showcases the tech in a lot of different ways. It was one of the productions that actually used both of our stages here. The lighting team, the DP, the gaffer, and all the team involved saw our mimics, got really excited about them, and built a, essentially a mimic tower, which was really fun. With Dancing with the Stars, we did the cold open for the season premiere as well. And the season premiere featured uh, the two hosts of the show traveling in a spaceship through disco themed planets to pick up other contestants. They really wanted to get people looking as if they're traveling through hyperspace. So they actually put two Kino flows on low boy stands right beneath them, tilted up at their face and just had sort of hyperspace content going through it. And we were all joking on set that it felt like a Kino flow commercial. It was the exact reason as to why you would use this is that not only was the lighting correct on the talent's face, but their feedback to the director was that they could see on the LED panel something moving at them. And so they felt like they were more immersed as well. And that talent tie-in really, really matters in those sort of moments. What's been really interesting and so addictive about the technology the last couple of years is that it creates a, a collective creative involvement on set. So everyone who is working, whether it's the DP or the gaffer or a grip or a PA in the room, they all understand what's happening. Everyone can see the final product and everyone has sort of a, a say in their production. And so you get this really nice collaborative feel, which has been really, really exciting.